like before we get started the editing's getting better admit it the editing's getting good the intros and the trailers mwah! good afternoon everyone if you're new to this channel i run easy reviews hopefully you can give me a subscribe lots of hb content all of that good stuff and if you're not new to the channel then thanks for coming back and watching my content, I guess. Um, no, to be fair, I do want to say thanks to everyone. Like, I've received quite a few DMs on Instagram and a few comments on all my other videos. Up and, uh, you know, I just want to say to you guys, thanks. I appreciate it. The whole reason I wanted to do this was because it was a nice little hobby. But the more I get into it and the more I realise I'm actually helping people, the more I like it. So, you know, as long as it's helping one or two people, then we're all doing a good job as a community. So, yeah. We are on our way to Newbury to pick up a double-decker trailer for DPD and we're going to take it all the way to the National Hub in Birmingham. So it's a pick up and drop off and then a pick up and then back to the depot drop off. So it should be nice and easy. I'm a bit skeptical though, this is my first ever double-decker, so I'm going to the depot actually 20 minutes early. I'm going to arrive 20 minutes before my shift starts. I usually like to arrive 5 to 10 minutes before but this being a new client and a new agency and a new double decker and stuff I thought I'm going to get there early I'm going to speak to the manager. I'm going to let them know look this is the crack like can someone quickly go out um, to the yard with me you know show me how to how to lift up the uh, double decker and all of that good stuff how to operate it. Just because I don't want to go there and arrive on the dot and then you know start eating into the time that I'm actually meant to be working so that's actually one of my best tips is if you're a bit unsure about that specific job just go there half hour early and just speak to the transport office and just have someone show you around and, and show you um, the bits that you're not confident with and they will be super happy with that because you're not eating into their time and it shows them wow this guy's actually got some initiative and he's willing to you know he's got the balls to come and admit that he needs help with this and that. So, yeah, everyone's happy in that regard. Anyway, we're on our way to Newbury. It's only a 25 minute drive, and hopefully we'll get some good content, and I'll keep you guys posted as usual. Oh, and before I go, go check out the Lightwork podcast. A few people have already gone and checked it out and given me some good feedback, so I'm happy to announce that obviously the podcast is still going and all of that, um, but yeah, go check it out. What's going on everyone? So we've made it to the depot. Um, it's a nice surprise that it's actually not a double decker, which is a shame and it's not, because you know, it is what it is. But there's a few new bits that were new to me and they'll definitely be new to some people here watching. It took me by surprise for sure. I definitely had to, I, it's definitely lucky that I came here early just to have a bit of a hands on and, and you know, a chat with someone about it. I'll show you the bits now on the screen. But yeah, like there's this bit obviously here, which is obviously a hydraulic system to couple and uncouple with the uh, fifth wheel. So, you know, one lever obviously I'm, I'm assuming, you know, helps to, to couple up and the other one uh, to unlock it. So that's to lock and unlock the uh, fifth wheel. And then you've got the other, um, other levers as well to operate kind of the suspension of the, uh, the fifth wheel. As you can see, it's quite raised up and stuff like that. So yeah. Bit of a crazy one. I've never come across this, but anyway, we're uh, we're competent in it now. We we know what the crack is, and we're gonna go all the way up to um, Costco in the mid in Northampton and take it all the way to uh, DP Deeb's hub in I want to say Birmingham. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Birmingham. But yeah, this truck itself, Jesus Christ, what a piece of work this is! Absolutely stunning inside. I mean, look at all that. No mirrors, we got the uh, the in-cab mirrors with the cameras. We got this little bad boy that's uh, gonna show us where to go and uh, sign for deliveries, all of that good stuff. Handbrake, yeah, all in all. A bit of a crazy uh, Mercedes. I've never, I've never had a 71 plate Mercedes like this. It's an absolute beauty, um, but yeah. Definitely gonna take uh, the first 10 minutes to have a look at things and get used to them and all that good stuff before going out on the road. Um, and I'm not sure if you've seen, but I'm pretty tight here. Like it's pretty, it's a pretty close, uh, they've parked them very close together. So we'll see what it's like to get out. But yeah, anyway, let's get going. Right, so this is a, a weird one for me, a new one. But check this out, this is how they've got us doing a uh, walk around check. So you can see it says mirrors and glass. Yeah, I've had a look, pass. Uh, brakes from the driver's seat. Um, yep, yeah, 
they're all healthy, so pass. And it says check from the driver's seat, so you know where to check from and all of that good stuff. Right, welcome back everyone. We are off on our way to uh, Northampton, Costco. Pick up a few bits and bobs, load up, and then off we go. Um, but yeah, all in all, nice and successful. Had a bit of a hiccup with the old, um, you know, the, the fifth wheel coupling being uh, a different type, a hydraulic type. Um, but yeah, we got it done. We, uh, we've put the right measurements into the sat navs. Uh, we've got this little bad boy telling us where we can and can't go. And getting used to these mirrors is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> It's so much better, but it's so weird. Like, I keep finding myself like looking out the window and then I'm like, oh no, wait, the mirror's right there. It's absolutely insane. What crazy world we live in. But yeah, these things are amazing. Like the field of view that you get is insane. You get such a bigger angle and you can customize it as well. You can have it a bit wider and a bit um, over to, to the opposite side and stuff. So they're really good bits of kit. I always thought though, like what happens if they get dirty and stuff like that, like, but they seem to do really well. Um, no, they're really well designed. Now I've been told that we could potentially pick up a double decker from uh, the DPD hub in Birmingham. So that coupling will be a, a bit of a different one because with the uh, double deckers, that fifth coupling, that I showed you on the video, see how it's all the way up? Yeah, that needs to be all the way down. So operating it will be um, a first one for me, but we'll get it done as we always do. And then another thing I wanted to speak to people about this truck, right? This Merc's got very, very strong lane assist, like to the point where you can take your hands off and it, it will be driving for you. Um, obviously, you, you, it starts beeping at you if you know you let go for too long, or it doesn't sense the weight of your hands. Um, but yeah, it, you can feel it pre-steering for you, and I'm like, I didn't, I've not, I'm not adjusting it. What's going on? Like, uh, I almost thought there was something wrong with the tires, but no, it's this, and it says down there, assisted um, lane control. It's a bit of what, man. These trucks are getting incredible, honestly, absolutely incredible. But yeah, off we go. I just wanna give another quick shout out, right, to anyone that's watching, okay? If you're new if you're new to this channel and new to my uh, content, give me a subscribe. We're almost at 1,000. By the time I post this video, I might get to 1,000. Um, but yeah, hopefully you like the content. Anyway, let's get a time lapse going and let's get to that demo. The good thing about Saturdays is the roads are absolutely dead and I just wanted to whilst giving you an update like I said we're only 50 miles away so we're gonna be getting there within the next hour or so and hopefully I can get some good footage of uh, loading loading up and then getting out of there but I just wanted to talk about this shift in general and how it came to be because I originally had nothing planned this weekend like no one you know no one was uh, dishing out any work for this weekend or anything like that so I thought I'd use the same um, the same tools that I used in that video ie this one and doing the Google search and, and going through about it that way and going through about it that way I found an agency near Basingstoke that needed <coughs> drivers straight away on the weekend as soon as possible and it literally said HEV class 1 ASAP immediate start um, blah 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 and underneath it was the agency name so I googled the agency name signed up with them explained to them this is my experience I've been doing it for the uh, the past year or two or whatever um, this is the type of vehicles and stuff I've done and my kind of personal experience and yeah they uh, they 
lo and behold, needed someone really quickly and gave me work the same weekend. So I signed on with them on like a Wednesday or a Thursday and sent them the relevant paperwork and all of that good stuff. I'm, it's now Saturday and I'm behind the wheel getting paid silly amounts. And let's get on to the nitty gritty of the pay because that's what people are here for. That's what the people want. No, uh, um, it is a very important aspect of the, uh, of the job. Do you know what I mean? You're, you're not going to do it for free as much as we do like a good drive and a, and a peaceful getaway, you know, from the chaos. Um, which, by the way, there is something really nice and therapeutic and simplistic just being behind the wheel, listening to tunes, listening to the best, best podcast in the world. Link in the description. Um, no, do you like the promo? But no, no, no. There's something quite therapeutic and, and good about it. But uh, anyway, like I said, let's get on to the nitty gritty. How much am I earning per hour? And this is through pay AYE, so it will be taxed after. Um, so it's before tax, but it's Saturdays is 21 pound 50 and Sundays is 24 pound. Now that, I don't know about you guys, but that's probably one of the highest rates I've ever seen. Uh, that's standard weekend work. So that's insane because the agency must be charging like 40 quid an hour and giving me, you know, 25. So they're still getting, they, they still need to make their money, which ultimately means they must be charging DPD, the clients, they must be charging them an absolute fortune. 40, 45 an hour is probably, you know, what they're charging. So yeah, that's, that's how much I'm on. Uh, and that's how much I'll be consistently on when doing these shifts. And I wanted to kind of share that. But another thing I wanted to talk about was, and I want to make a dedicated video to this bit, but essentially what I wanted to talk about was the fact that there are different agencies that offer different schemes. For instance, this one, I don't know why I didn't find out sooner, but this one is an eight hour minimum, which means you get paid eight hours no matter what happens. Whether you finish at six hours or whatever, everyone understands that, right? Yes, good. But those eight hours are a rate of, a fixed rate of, like I said, 21 pound 50 or whatever, right? Now, after those eight hours, I'll be on what the agency class is overtime. So I'm gonna get paid overtime if I go past my eight hours. So if I work nine hours, that last hour, is at an overtime rate, okay, of 26 pound an hour. 26 quid an hour. And minimum eight hours. There's no way I'm getting this job done today in eight hours. It's, this is a 12 hour shift for sure. And I started at 2.45, so you know, quarter to three in the morning, I'll be looking at getting finished. But it just goes to show like, if you have a good look at what's out there, you can really maximize your money. Like, you can really maximize your time, rather. So, you know, I was working for certain agencies paying me 17 quid an hour, and in fact, taking 45 minute breaks off me, uh, and no bonuses whatsoever um, after that time, no overtime, nothing like that. So, when you compare agencies like that to agencies like this one, that's offering all this all this extra, it's like, it's a no-brainer. Why would I ever, ever go back to that agency? So, it just, yeah, it really depends on the type of driver you are or the experience, or whatever, but personally, if I were you, I would shop around when it comes to agencies. There are thousands and thousands, and it might not be in your area. Like, that agency is all the way up in, I think it was Leicester or something, but they've got clients down in the southeast it's not about location it's about the type of work that they take on and give back out so they take on work for people down in southeast they can still recruit people down in southeast so honestly just go in and and find some good agencies and uh, i might make a video on how to find good agencies later on but yeah i just wanted to give a quick shout out on that whilst uh, we're now getting closer to the uh, pickup point So we're at the Costco depot now. I'm just looking for signs for 
HEB deliveries, there we go. Right, we're gonna head over there and get loaded up, I guess. Right, so supposedly I've got to go around this one-way system, find an empty spot to drop this trailer off, and pick up a trailer labelled for DPD. And apparently I'll know what it is because it will be loaded and sealed and it will have the paperwork hanging on the back. As you can tell, this place is absolutely massive. So many trailers, so many. I meant to drop it off in one of these. But there is literally no space, so how the hell and he was so lucky, he, he was so nice. He was like, I'm so sorry, mate, but no one's here on a Saturday. It's just me uh, looking after the gate. I, uh, when he said that, I was like, oh, brilliant. Just what we needed. Right, I see an MTB, I'm gonna stick it in there. Let's hope for the best. Right, just so you guys are aware, this is the uh, little tablet here. It's a cool little uh, thing. Um, I think I've got to scan it, but I've got to find the trailer first. So I'm gonna go find the trailer first, do a little bit of a walk in. Um, and then get the, get the swap done, pick up the load and take it to uh, the hub. Right, so I just put my head in there to have a look. It's sealed, ready to go, so I'm assuming it's this one, it says DPD on it. It's the only one here, so let's get it hooked up and uh, input the trailer number into this little bad boy. So we put our trailer number in there. We did a first parade on the trailer and I had to click pass, pass, pass again. And now it wants the name of the person responsible for when I leave the compound. So we're gonna go around the one-way system, get out of here and head over to our next spot, which will be dropping this off right next to Birmingham, just off the M5. So uh, let's go forward, try not to hit that trailer and that one there and get it sorted. Let's go. Look how clear that is. That is insane. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, not bad, right? Not a bad bit of reversing, dropping the trailer, hitching up this bad boy. Look at that. What a day. Man, the sheer numbers of trailers in here is absolutely unbelievable. And they've packed them so, so well, so that they know, you know, if you put one in each bay, we, we can maximize the storage. Woof, that is sunny. But yeah, Costco's got some business, man. Like, I've never seen a park this busy in all my life. All right, how do I get out of here? Just follow this one-way system, I guess. All oh, right, this he was warning me off about it being really ropey on the way out because it's just been built. So I shall try and be careful. Right, anyway, we're gonna set off now and I'll update you as I get along. Let's get this done. Right, so after quickly confirming the serial numbers, I asked for a copy of the um, of the piece of paper that was obviously uh, at the back of the trailer that I picked up. Just because obviously I've never done this job um, for this group of people, so I thought it's best practice to try and keep everything you can basically, and try and take copies and pictures and be as, you know, as attentive as you can to the situation because end of the day if they want copies or if anything happens you've got the necessary paperwork to uh, say you've done the job so yeah we uh, picked up the the paperwork he signed everything and it's automatically uh, recognized that now I'm on my way to drop off the load this little uh, gadget tablet thing so now we're gonna go and do that luckily it's only 15 miles away, so I'm not, I don't need a break yet. I can smash it all the way there and then uh, take a break once I'm there. Anyway, let's get this done. nice it's been right so it's currently half two in the morning so that ended up being a 12-hour shift things got really hectic at that uh dpd hub five as you can see from this picture yeah q was insane i queued for about two hours before even being released out of that depot um but nonetheless we queued uh we got a, a cup of coffee they've got brilliant facilities but yeah the queue i don't know what it was but the, there was the, cr some crazy queues going on yeah, but you know, we got the job done. We got a nice little 12 hour shift in at uh, a higher rate because we went over the eight hours. Uh, and like I say to people, don't don't just go for that first agency, shop around because some of these agencies offer a lot more for the same amount of time. Um, you know, some of them even offer bonuses to start just for, for doing weekend shifts. So yeah, have a look around, shop around. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. If you got some, 
uh, comments or any questions, like I said, just put them down there. I'll try my best to get uh, them answered. But for now, a, a big thank you to everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the love. And uh, be sure to uh, check out my other content, subscribe, and check out the uh, podcast once again. Uh, and let me know what you think. So, yeah, take care.